do you think if you weren't with um, James and I wasn't with uh, Tracy? But I am with him and you are with her. Yeah. So you don't get to ask that question. He started making us get up, one by one, and he said, if you answer in the right way, we won't kill you. And then he pointed a gun right in my face and asked me if I was a virgin. And then he dragged me to the room at the back. God. And that was when the guy who worked there smacked him around the head. I don't know what it was, this metal thing, knocked him out. Okay, so what are we going to do about it? I don't think it's such a big deal. Grandad being on Tinder. He's a single man now. Yeah, but he's 83 years old. I didn't even know he had a phone. So were you specifically swiping through men in their 80s? Or? We need to get him off there. Why? Because being on Tinder's disgusting. Everyone on there is trying to get laid. And if that's what Grandad wants to do... It isn't enjoy. what Grandad wants to do. So you've had this discussion? Oh, yeah. Right between the discussion about the Nazis and how the BBC went downhill. You're being ageist. He's as much right as anyone. Oh, so save it for a Huffington Post blog. Look, ageism is fine if it's to stop your granddad from going on a fuck out. I think we're destined to be two of the great what ifs. <laughs> and besides, you'd make me watch those crime dramas on Netflix, and that's really not my cup of tea. And if I turned up at New Year's Eve last Don't. Year? I love James. And you, Thomas Wells, are nothing but trouble. You make my heart scream. Thomas Wells. You make my brain confused. And that's when the police stormed the place. Almost. The other guy shot the man who saved me and said, that's what you get for saving a slut. So, when these news people are asking me what it's like to be heroic or lucky, they really, they really don't know what the fuck they're talking about.